Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and talk about, or at least remember, what we covered uh, two class periods ago. So, if you guys remember, um, basically we had the growth function. You guys can see that here. My 2 is uh, greater than 1, so my base is larger than 1, and my a is 1. So therefore, I know it crosses at 1 comma 0. Right? So I told you guys to graph kind of two graphs, the initial graph without any transformations, which is provided there, 2 raised to the x, which would look something like this. Remember, the base, guys, just kind of tells you how fast it's going to curve up, right? So the larger that number 2 is, just the faster it shoots up. But it still crosses at 0 comma a, which in this case is 1. So it's going to look just like this. Yes. This is number 18. Um, but now we have some transformations, right? We have this negative x and we have this 5. Now, we didn't really discuss anything like this. Brandon, I don't know why you're still not moving to that seat. Move to the other seat so that, or another seat where you can see the desk, see the board. So what I would recommend doing is rewriting this equation as 2 to the negative x plus 5. Now, hopefully you guys can see it's a little bit easier to understand, hey, we're going to have a reflection and a horizontal transformation, right? Yes, because that's what those transformations were. Now, one thing we didn't really discuss in this class is we got to be careful. Remember when we multiply on the outside of the graph, that by negative, that reflects it over the <coughs> x-axis, bless you. That reflects it over the x-axis. Well, in here, we're actually multiplying, when we multiply the inside, that is reflecting about the y-axis. But we have to make sure that we understand we need to factor out that negative so we can see that what the, how that actually is a reflection. The reason why that's important is because over here, if you said plus 5, you'd say, oh, it's being shifted to the left before 5, right? But when I factor out the negative and I see, oh, this negative is making this a reflection, I actually have an x minus 5, which is telling me I'm shifting my graph to the right. So the negative tells me I reflect the y-axis. So now the graph looks something like this, right? And then it's being shifted five units to the right. Well, the only point I know is 1 comma 0. So I'm sorry, that's 0 comma 1, isn't it? So if I shift 0 comma 1 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The graph would look something like that. And that is your final answer. And then you'd say this point is 5 comma 1, because I asked you for one point, right? Now, we did not ask for the end behavior continuity.